Welcome back to EAFC Gameplay Analysis. My name is John, I'm a professional FC coach. You guys can check me out on Medify.gg if you guys do like these type of sessions. But today we're going to be talking about my tactics, my formation, my players, what I've updated since the last tactics type of video, and what we're going to be diving into. And I'm going to break down a full match for you guys here on the analysis. So you guys can actually get my code right here. So you guys can always go back to this. But essentially, what I am trying to do with my squad right now is I need a finisher. Chiesa is broken. I sold my Salah. If you guys have been watching, we're playing in FC Pro. We're doing okay. We're like 150 on the board right now. We need to break top 64. We had a really bad first day. Um, and then I switched some things around. We found some some light. But Diaby, uh, this quick step is still broken. Chiesa is broken. Um, the... Basically, what you're really looking for, guys, is I kind of talked about this in the last one, is you're looking for quick step and rapid. That's what you're really looking for. Anything else is the juicer. So I call this the juice, right? The finesse shot plus the juice. The quick step plus and rapid with the first touch make him arguably one of the most broken cards in the game, to be honest. Uh, but Chiesa, quick step, rapid. He also has the flair, Travella, and the finesse. So he's a finisher as well. So... Uh, these four, these three together are actually very underrated. Uh, there is not, I don't even think he's underrated. He's 150K right now, which is an 84. It, there's a reason why, trust me. Once you use me, understand. Now, in the video, what you're going to see is me using uh, Marcus Lorente out here. Uh, we did add Kunde. We added a Anticipate Plus, of course, of course, of course. But ultimately, guys, what we're trying to do with the tactics here, I'll step you guys through my tactics and my thought is I want a standard formation 41212 where Pedri and Lorente both play a holding holding position. It feels way more structured than if you go outside of that. So I have a couple other tactics that I've been using. This is my original tactics from uh, the other day, if you guys, uh, or the other uh, site, or the other, I guess, time. Uh, but ultimately, I've been rocking the 41212. If I want to get a little bit, little bit freaky with it, what, we, what I would end up doing is uh, basically setting this forward and I would be making this into like a playmaker position. Um, and I would, in for FC Pro, I would actually be doing something like this. So for FC Pro, I actually have uh, my Tweety in here for this position. And then I've got Blanc at this. So I'd be playing it more like this uh, for actual FC Pro. So I've got my Tweety there. And then we have Blanc in for Romero. That gives me the cam. But that's going to be the, um, those are going to be the tactics. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Before we get into it, guys, I want to start talking about FC Alert. If you guys need help making coins, the easiest and cheapest way to do it is like six or seven bucks right now. Uh, you guys can get, uh, this is actually my own, I'm a co-founder here. You guys can get trading advice from an AI. And there's a couple really cool things. So this is real time. I'm just going to give you guys a, a, a few free ones right right here if you guys see this in time. But 150,000 coins. What are some high risk investments at the moment? And it's going to, it's basically, this is real time. It's thinking through it. And actually, while it's thinking through the market, which it'll pull up here in a second. Um, this is our other algorithm trader. But actually, it looks like you're already, already ready here. But you got Looks like Jurgen Cole coming in at 139 thinks it's going to go 179. Uh, Nico Williams, it's going to it says it's 164. Market is starting to recover. Neymar, you got Mostovi. Uh, some really good shouts right here, so you guys can pause that and look. But uh, even like uh, Luis Diaz potentially for weekend league demand. So it's it's smart. It knows what it's doing. And then we have our algorithm trader, uh, not algo trader. It's, it's an AI trader that we've taught. Uh, but but basically. Um, it's telling you when it buys, when it sells. So it's right now it's holding it to Marco and then it'll tell you when it, and it'll alert you whenever it closes whenever it buys and whenever it sells. So whenever it buys, whenever it sells, it will give you an alert to your phone. Uh, this is still, in, this is coming out tomorrow for the beta release. We are in a full beta release. There will be some updates to the website coming forward. Uh, so look forward to that. Let's go ahead and get right on into this uh, gameplay analysis as we go forward. So uh, I do have the I did put the uh, the screen up top so uh, we can try to keep things uh, smooth, nice and smooth for you guys. I got the controller for you guys today. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get to this. All right. So um, with me, guys, I really like to try to dribble through people, uh, which I probably shouldn't. Uh, but when I see this step up. 
basically i'm seeing this come down and then i'm seeing this position here but what i'm really trying to do is i'm trying to send this through and then i'm trying to find that link right that's that's what i'm actually trying to do and so i'm trying i just i'm missing those positions right now and so part of my gameplay is i'm a little str i'm struggling on that right now as i see i just i just had it i just turned the wrong way i need to anticipate this this is poor really bad defense um, I need to drag uh, De Young right into the middle there. As you can see, I'm stepping up there, and I make actually I think I draw a foul there. But basically, we're uh, oh my gosh, we're looking a little sloppy, aren't we? All my players falling down. Here we go. There's a step. There's a step. Ah, again, I'm I'm breaking. So this is the beginning. It settles down. I get pretty into this. But here's the here's the build and here's the break. I attack with him. Wait for the breakout. I'm just trying to get to the edge. We still get to the edge and it's out on me apparently it's out on me um i probably should have played it to the fullback to play it forward but you can tell right away these tactics are pushing and really powerful in the 412 especially if you win the ball right into attack position it's almost like you can go direct to goal three strikers i have i think diaby is i think diaby's on shadow striker which i strongly recommend with a player like him so we're just trying to do that l1 boost I keep the ball away barely barely wins it and then now we're going to press him into a, a strong position and oh how did he get through and so he wins that position does he score he doesn't score and so even though he green times this guys this is where finishing stats can be a big factor so let me actually go forward here whoops sorry so I I'll, 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 I'll let me talk about this so if you guys are right in the last moments of him about to shoot once you, you hold down that, that X, and what that does is it drags, it creates an animation. So whenever you guys hear of composure and finishing, this is what's happening. So if you look, he's actually like slightly dragging on him, which makes it to where you basically, and let me slow this down. I'm going to drag this back just a hair, and let me slow this down. So basically, you see how he's dragging him in? So what we're looking here is... That's affecting his composure, his balance, his finishing stats. And so even though he green times, he's not able to beat the keeper because of, uh, because of those values. So at in-game, that's why like R9 is so like, that's honestly the reason why R9 and Mbappe and those cards feel so much better. Komen just doesn't have that same, uh, that same level of juice. If we go and look up Kinsley Komen, uh, he's at, uh, his composure values are 78. Um, his balance is good. His finishing's at 74. So I would assume that that is the reason it has nothing to do with him, right? So he beat me in that position, but I beat him with the, the values of RNG. So if you guys want to know more about RNG, you guys can, uh, I strongly recommend a session with me. But okay, so here we go. There's the speed boost. Wait for the speed boost. I need to get a little bit better at my angles. Uh, the, the speed boost is actually relatively easy to stop. If you guys know how to defend properly, you just have to basically stay, stay directly in front of them. That's really the key. And this is actually my tip right here. So my tip is whenever you feel like the speed boost is about to come, if you look, it looks like I'm about to step. That's when speed boost is really effective, but instead I drag back just a hair. So it's really going to help you guys get back. And so I stay flat. And this makes it to where he has to choose between both. And then I can react to it in you know, enough time. It's no different than like playing basketball defensively. And so uh, we win that position. He tries to slide in um, and try to, I don't know why he tries to slide in if he was trying to cross the ball. There's the fake and then there's the turn. So this is what, oh, this is fantastic. So if you guys are having really a tough time, like holding on to the ball uh, in your backfield and feel like you're just getting absolutely swarmed and crushed, this is, this is what I recommend right here. I let these players come forward a little bit. I pass into the pressure. So if you're going to make this pass, you need to know exactly where you're going to go. That means you need to check your shoulder here. You need to check your shoulder here. You need to check your shoulder up here. You need to check your shoulder in the front, right? So you basically need to know if you're going to go one, two, three, or four, right? And could I go this way? Sure. But how bad is Diaby on the pass? He's terrible. So I'd rather actually outlet here. So anyways, we make that pass. We hit the fake, right? And then we just cut. And now we're all the way. Now we're breaking through. So if you guys are in like div four, this is an easy way to destroy your opponent. This is really easy. So here we go. There's the run through. Do I hold him off? I hold him off. I hold him off. I hold him off. 
So now I've broken his line. His line is broke. You can see his, his openings right here. So now I need to attack this lane. I have a limited amount of time to attack that lane. Let's approach it. Boom. One, two. There's the turn and speed boost into that space. And that's exactly what we do. Can we win it? And money with the Chiesa. So there you go. Uh, that's the first goal. It's a very simple, guys. I'll show you guys this is a way to do it. But basically, you want to roll the ball up to the striker. Roll the ball up to the striker. Then you want to pull him away. Pull him away. Pull him away. Pull him away. And then attack the same zone and just make him make a mistake. So he made a mistake, and then I capitalize on it. So that's how fast that can happen. Um, yeah, that's just how fast that, that can happen. Let's move on. Keep going. Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like this style of content. If we try to keep it original here, nobody doing it like we do it here. Baby, there's another speed boost, and we try to hit it, and then wait for it, wait for it, and, and I'm ready for it. And there it is again. We miss. So he moves the keep, so I take that to information. Should I have green timed it? I tried. I missed. That's the problem. Is If you see me not green time, it's because I just simply missed. Uh, I've been trying Travellas in there. They're not working too great. All right. Whoop. There's the tackle. Wait. Uh, where are we? There it is. Okay. So now we're waiting, 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 trying to cut passing lanes, make a bad pass. Simple, simple. So this is something I want you guys to know, understand as well. When we make passes, we do not, if you guys are struggling at passing, you do not make this pass. Stop making that pass from this angle. What's happening right now, guys, is you guys can go into the gameplay deep dive and you guys can see. But basically, when we make this pass, there's two different parts. There's two different angles that there's like, actually, there's like four different angles here that the game references. Okay, so let me let me explain this. So the reason why I stop here and do this is for a specific reason. There's essentially four different areas that this does. Okay, so let me step through here. I'm just going to draw this out. Basically, guys, when we make passes in certain directions, I want to explain this very, 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 very calmly. Do not make this pass while looking through this angle. Okay. So it's no different than like if you play Madden or you play any other, you can't throw the ball behind you. It's going to be really hard. Passing accuracy matters. So you need to square up, face this way to make these proper passes. Or you need to turn and then play. It, just using, I just do this fake shot to turn and then play the ball. You need to do that or you're going to get those weird little bop, 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 bop. You get a weird timing on that little bop and you're going to get you're going to be taken to to the uh, to the end of the moon, right? You're just going to get taken down. So there's a creative run. Try to get in front. Yabi with the win. Yabi is my favorite player, I think, in this game right now. All the way forward. Boom, boom. See, like that. So I'm trying to ping that ball. But the reason why I'm trying to hit this now, I could probably settle touch this. So this is FIFA 20 for me. This is something I need to focus on is not doing this. And just ping, trying to bing, ping, uh, bang the ball in. I need to play the ball like almost directly flat and then go. I need to do that. Or I need to like draw it this way and hit this. But that's really hard to get around. Those passes are really hard. Okay. So anyway, so I set. There's the, the defense drop. He misses the over the top. There he's going to go for the center. And so we barely miss, but we recover. Um. Also, guys. I strongly recommend if you guys are getting uh, if you guys are getting hit by uh, what's it called uh, the L1 sprint boost. I strongly recommend uh, what is it block and anticipate um, or jockey block jockey or anticipate like uh, if you get one of those with a playstyle plus in those positions, it kind of nerfs it. Like Kunde, some reason nerfs the L1 sprint boost. I can't explain it. It's almost like whenever he's around people and they try a boost, it only goes like a foot. Or like a meter versus like going out five meters and speed boosting like you can't imagine um, is what I'm seeing right now. So anyways, oh, that's a great ball. And I get caught in no man's land. So I'm trying to win it. I move the keeper back. So I get caught in no man's land. Um, and this is something I can't I can't try to commit to. So I'm actually trying to click clear here. And this is where I think Blanc would get this. Uh, if I was in the FC Pro with my loan Blanc, I think I can get that. But 
Yeah, just he head, heads it down. And so, uh, to be fair, he probably should deserve that one. Here's another outlet that I like to talk about, guys. When the ball comes like this and you're getting pressed, stop trying to dribble and make that on the ground. Just send it up over the top. I, I actually hate that. I hate it. But, like, that's, uh, I think, the right way to play. So, here we go with Chiesa again. Chiesa down the wing. And he forces the play out wide. So, that's good. Chiesa again. Little dribble touch. Try to pull it inside. No, no bueno. But these tactics are the counterattacking master. So, uh, let him go offside. That works right here. One, two, and turn. There we go. Now, we're waiting. What you want to wait is wait, wait, wait. And all the way forward to the striker. Do we have the position? If I can get through. And so I just keep getting clobbered. You almost, it, it's really, it's really like, uh, it's really jammy the game right now. Um, is what I've really been noticing is how jammy this, uh, this game feels. Uh, where you're just trying to speed boost between players. And it's, it's, uh, I, I, I would much rather have, uh, step overs than speed boost. But that's just me, uh, on a game. Ah, and so I make a bad touch. I've been doing this, guys. I've been trying to do these L1 speed boosts basically off of the R1 uh, dribble touches. So if you actually look, my right thumbstick trying to go in there. I'm thinking he's going to switch and then he's going to get off of his animation, but he doesn't switch. Uh, so I think we, I think we score a couple here back to back really quick here. Here's the rotation. There's the speed boost into space. We're just waiting, waiting. Ah, and he comes from behind. I hate, I hate these tackles so much. Where they can just peek and just take it from you. I, I hate that. It feels like you're in the right position too. But that makes sense. There's straight up to the striker. So we're just trying to get up to the striker. You guys can see we're breaking his line every single time. And he's, we're forcing him to commit. The more you guys can force those center backs to commit, the more goals you're going to score. You'll start figuring out how to beat the beat your opponent. And so he's trying to do a nice cheeky movement. So once he like there, I he forced my my center back all the way out. And there's the creative run. There's the fake, fake, and then speed boost and near post finish with the fake. So this this is good level play. This is good play. This is good play right here. Uh, I'm actually very happy to see myself play like this uh, because it's been a little bit since we've been able to play and be ahead of the play. So what I mean by being ahead is we force him up, we play the ball wide, we get into space, we fake him up, and we take him down, and then we fake the movement, and then we just finish near post. So it's fake, fake, fake. I was always ahead of him, and then we shoot. And so I should have had uh, another girl earlier with uh, Diaby. I should have had another goal earlier with Diaby. But he moved the keep. So I had to take that as in as data collection later on in the match. If he moves the keep or stays flat. And so he moves the keep. So we stay flat, right? That's that's the idea. So we we finish uh finish near post. That's how I consider it. In a breakout, he steps with uh with him, and so we do a little fake fake. Step one, two, and then there's the finish right there. That and that's another great finish as well. So I, I started feeling it right there. So this is where I get a little cheeky with it. Force him to commit. Again, that commitment happens, and we get the finesse shot plus. So uh, if you guys like this video style, please uh, drop a follow, drop a like, drop a subscribe. You guys can check me out live at twitch.tv slash John Sims. If you guys want a session where I break down your gameplay to improve yours, you guys can do so on medify.gg. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next episode.